Hello everybody. Welcome to our Shabbat Shalom quiz of the week. My name is Emma and I am an engagement officer at the Jewish Museum London. Now this weekly quiz has four rounds and each round has five questions. I will be giving you the answers to each round before I move on to the next one. Do please leave me a comment, let me know how you are finding this week's quiz, where you're playing from. I would just ask that you don't leave any of the answers in the comment section so everyone can play along at home. Now, throughout December, our theme across the museum has been light because, of course, we are um, in the festival of Hanukkah. And today's quiz is all about stars. So let's begin straight away with round one. Today this is our Totally Tanakh round where I will be asking you questions about quotes from the Tanakh that are all about stars. Good luck. So my first question today. Who in the Torah says, I had another dream and this time the sun and moon and 11 stars were bowing down to me? Who in the Torah says, I had another dream, and this time the sun and moon and 11 stars were bowing down to me. Question two. To whom in the Tanakh are these words spoken? Those who are wise will shine like the brightness of the heavens, and those who lead many to righteousness like the stars for ever and ever. Whom in the Tanakh are these words spoken? Those who are wise will shine like the brightness of the heavens, and those who lead many to righteousness like the stars for ever and ever. Question three, who in the Tanakh says these words? Who commands the sun not to shine and sets a seal upon the stars? Who alone stretches out the heavens and tramples down the waves of the sea? So who says these words in the Tanakh? Who commands the sun not to shine and sets a seal upon the stars? Who alone stretches out the heavens and tramples down the waves of the sea? Question four, in which psalm would you find these words? He counts the number of the stars, he gives names to all of them. Great is our Lord and abundant in strength. His understanding is infinite. In which psalm would you find these words? He counts the number of the stars, he gives names to all of them. Great is our Lord and abundant in strength. His understanding is infinite. And the last question in this round, who does God say these words to? Now look toward the heavens and count the stars if you are able to count them. And he said to him, so shall your descendants be. Who does God say these words to? Now look toward the heavens and count the stars if you are able to count them. And he said to him, so shall your descendants be. Now it is time to have a look at the answers to the first round, our Totally Tanakh round. So question one was who in the Torah says, I had another dream and this time the sun and moon and 11 stars were bowing down to me. That was Joseph, the second of his dreams predicting the future. Question two was to whom in the Tanakh are these words spoken? Those who were wise will shine like the brightness of the heavens and those who lead many to righteousness like the stars forever and ever. That is, Daniel. Question three, who in the Tanakh says these words? 
Who commands the sun not to shine, and sets a seal upon the stars? Who alone stretches out the heavens, and tramples down the waves of the sea? And that one was Job. Question four was, in which psalm would you find these words? He counts the number of the stars. He gives names to all of them. Great is our Lord and abundant in strength. His understanding is infinite. That was Psalm 147. And the last question of this round was, who does God say these words to? Now look toward the heavens and count the stars if you are able to count them. And he said to him, so shall your descendants be. And that is Abraham. So and now it is time to move on to our second round, looking at a different kind of star for this round because it is our stars of stage and screen round. I will be asking you questions about Jewish actors who have stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. So question one, which star of Frozen, Wicked and Rent was awarded a star in November 2019. Which star of Frozen, Wicked and Rent was awarded a star in November 2019? Question two. Which star who won an Academy Award for her role in Shakespeare in Love was awarded a star in 2010? Which star who won an Academy Award for her role in Shakespeare in Love was awarded a star in 2010? Question three. Which star, famous for his roles in Champion, The Bad and the Beautiful and Spartacus, has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame? Which star, famous for his roles in Champion, The Bad and the Beautiful and Spartacus, has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame? Question 4. Which star who rose to fame on Rowan and Martin's Laughing and won an Academy Award for her role in Cactus Flower was awarded a star in 2017, aged 71? Which star who rose to fame on Rowan and Martin's Laughing and won an Academy Award for her role in Cactus Flower was awarded a star in 2017 when she was aged 71? And the last one of this round, which star won, who won an Academy Award for the film 127 Hours and a Golden Globe for the Disaster Artist was awarded a star in 2013? Which star who won an Academy Award for the film 127 Hours and a Golden Globe for the Disaster Artist was awarded a star in 2017? So those were all the questions of this round. So we'll move on to the answers. My first question was, which star of Frozen, Wicked and Rent was awarded a star in November 2019? That was Adina Menzel. She played Elsa in Frozen, which she has become very, very famous for. But her first job was actually as a bar mitzvah singer. Question two was a which star who won an Academy Award for her role in Shakespeare in Love um, was awarded a star in 2010. That is Gwyneth Paltrow. She was raised celebrating Jewish and Christian traditions to reflect both of her parents' religions. Question three was a which star famous for his roles in Champion, The Bad and the Beautiful and Spartacus has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame? That is Kirk Douglas, and his son actually has a star as well, which is very near to his. 
Question four was a which star who rose to fame on Rowan and Martin's Laughing and won an Academy Award for her role in Cactus Flower was awarded a star in 2017, aged 71. That's Goldie Horn. Her partner Kurt Russell received his at the same time. And question five, which star who won an Academy Award for the film 127 Hours and a Golden Globe for The Disaster Artist was awarded a star in 2013? That's James Franco. He was raised in a secular Jewish household, but has since actually said he felt he'd missed out on the Jewish experience and had a bar mitzvah ceremony in 2015. So we are already halfway through. We now come to our third round, which is our constellations round. Now, many constellations in the night sky are named after what people thought they might look like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you the thing or things that a constellation is named after. And I want you to tell me the constellation. So question one. Which constellation is named after an archer, often pictured as a centaur pulling a bow? Which constellation is named after an archer, today often pictured as a centaur pulling back a bow? Question two, which constellation is named after either a little bear or a wagon of heaven? Which constellation is named after either a little bear or a wagon of heaven? Question three, which constellation is named after a lion? Which constellation is named after a lion? Question four. Which constellation is named after a hunter in Greek mythology? Which constellation is named after a hunter in Greek mythology? And question five, which constellation is named after Castor and Pollux from Greek mythology? Which con constellation is named after Castor and Pollux from Greek mythology? Right, so let's have a look at the answers for our constellations round. So for question one was which constellation is named after an archer, today often pictured as a centaur pulling back a bow. That is Sagittarius. In Greek mythology though there's a little bit of confusion about who this archer, who this centaur actually is. Question two was which one's named after either a little bear or a wagon of heaven. This is the Ursa Minor which means the lesser bear although it's also known as the Little Dipper. And the sort of little or the lesser in both names are in contrast to the Ursa Major. So question three was which constellation is named after a lion? That is Leo. And it is a lion that was killed by the Greek hero Heracles. Question four was which constellation is named after a hunter in Greek mythology? That is Orion. It's one of the most visible constellations around the world. And the earliest of this depiction was actually um, found more recently but dates right back to 32,000 to 38,000 years old. And question five was which constellation is named after Castor and Pollux from Greek mythology? And that is Gemini, meaning twins. They were twin half-brothers, one mortal, one immortal. 
and the story goes that Pollux asked Zeus to let him share his own mortality with his twin to keep them together, and they were transformed into the constellation Gemini. So we have one more round left. This is a general knowledge round, but with a bit of a twist, because the answer to these general knowledge questions are all words that start with star. So all the answers to these general knowledge questions begin with star. Question one. What is the nickname given to Carambola? What is the nickname given to Carambola? Question two. Which 2007 fantasy adventure film starring Claire Danes and Charlie Cox tells the story of Tristan who enters the magical world to collect a fallen star? Which 2007 fantasy adventure film starring Claire Danes and Charlie Cox tells the story of Tristan who enters a magical world to collect a fallen star? Question three. What is the opposite to port on a boat? What is the opposite to port on a boat? Question four. What is the surname of Clarice, the, the protagonist of the books The Silence of the Lambs and Hannibal? What is the surname of Clarice, the protagonist of the books The Silence of the Lambs and Hannibal? And question five, which creatures have no brain and no blood? Which creatures have no brain and no blood? Right, so now it is time to look at the answers for the final round. So question one was what is the nickname given to Carambola? And that is star fruit, a fruit native to Southeast Asia. Question two was which 2007 fantasy adventure film starring Claire Danes and Charlie Cox tells the story of Tristan who enters a magical world to collect a fallen star? That is the film Stardust. Question three. What is the opposite to port on a boat? And that was starboard. Question four was, what is the surname of Clarice, the protagonist of the books, The Silence of the Lambs and Hannibal? It is Starling and she is an FBI agent. And the last question, question five, was which creatures have no brain and no blood? That is starfish. They actually use filtered seawater to pump nutrients through their nervous system. So that brings me to the end of this week's quiz. Thank you so much for joining me and for playing along. Our next quiz will be on New Year's Day. So do join us then to test your knowledge of New Year's resolutions and famous things that have happened on past New Year's Days. So I hope to see you there, but for now, I'd like to wish you Shabbat Shalom. <laughs>